Okay, now let us uh, do decomposition, forecasting with trend, seasonal, and random variations. Uh, uh, to do that, we have to follow these five steps as we learned last time. Uh, they are um, um, first compute seasonal indices using CMAs. Uh, and we have done that from the last uh, exercise that uh, C CMAs were calculated right here using these three uh, 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 quarterly data plus 50% uh, of the first quarter and 50% of the, uh, uh, the upcoming quarter. Those are uh, added and then you divide by four. By doing so, you can calculate CMAs right? that we have done. And then uh, the seasonal indices was just simply um, uh, uh, the sales divided by the CMA, uh, center, centered moving averages, and you were able to find the seasonal ratio for that. And then um, we need to find the seasonal index, as I have done. So quarter one, uh, you add those uh, quarter one data together and divide it by two. That gives you the average uh, seasonal index, or average seasonal ratio, which is seasonal index. And for second quarter, I have done the same, and the third quarter the same. And uh, now, what we need to do is we need to uh, find um, decisionalized data. And uh, to find the decisionalized data, what do you need to do? You have to um, divide your sales data by uh, the, the seasonal index then you will be able to find your seasonal uh, data. So uh, here, seasonalized, deseasonalized, deseasonalized sales. So deseasonalized sales will be simply this one divided by seasonal uh, index. Then it's going to give you deseasonalized data and just scroll down, then you have decisionalized data. Once you find the decisional data, you have too many um, decimal places. So let's uh, decrease it to two and let's center it. And we have now, um, uh, we have to find the trend line using this decisionalized data. So let's uh, select decisionalized data only and go to insert and go to chart line graph right here. So here's the line graph. Or well, this is uh, too much, then you can just use the um, insert and line graph, but let's just use uh, these lines. Scatter plot, how about scatter plot? Scatter plot, right? So in this case, you have decisionalized data, and let's find the trend line. Right click and go to Add Trend Line, and it's going to add the trend line. And uh, let's use linear and display the equation, display R square, and we find that uh, y hat, y hat equals y hat equals 2.34x plus 124.78. And uh, um, if you make it a little bit bigger, is it 97%? Wow, so it's 97%. It's a very high R square. That's what we find, right? So I'm going to write down here y hat, y hat equals um, 2.34x plus 124.78. That's what we found. And now we need to find uh, the uh, decisionalized forecast. And uh, we are doing it for time index. Uh, we, ha we have to add this time index in front of year one to 12, uh, because we have uh, four, three quarters and uh, 
uh, 4 times 3 is 12, right? And we are also looking at year 4. And uh, for year 4, we have uh, uh, the 13th quarter, 14th quarter, 15th quarter, and 16th quarter. And uh, I'm going to just add these lines and center them together. And this one I will center. So that's what we have. And let's uh, add here uh, the forecast for decisionalized sales for quarter one of, of uh, year four equals 2.34 times x, x is time, um, you know, the first uh, time index and so forth. And then when it is 13, what is going to be like? And then 100, the intercepts is 124.78. And that's over there. And then scroll it down. Then you have that. And uh, you have decisionalized forecast over there. and uh, these are the quarters, so I'm going to just... Uh, and the next thing that you want to do, if you found the, the uh, forecast for future periods using trend line, then the last step is multiply the trend line forecast by the appropriate seasonal index. So now for the forecast of uh, quarter one of year four is simply... Um, oh. Let me just do this. Um, make sure that uh, you are copying the seasonal index for quarter two and quarter three and quarter four. We have them. And now you are able to find the uh, seasonal forecast times the quarterly uh, seasonal index. And that gives you a certain value, and I'm going to just decrease the decimal places. And I have now the sales forecast, 131 and 171, and so forth. And I'm going to just highlight them, uh, showing that this is our forecast, and it's a, um, we apply this seasonal index. Therefore, now we are ready to visualize it. So let's visualize it. Uh, I selected the sales column and then decisionalized sales like this. I'm going to select these two columns and then go to um, insert and go to line graph. And here we go. Here is our uh, decomposition. So edit text decomposition. So this one include all the data, um, trend and uh, uh, seasonality and random uh, variations are included in this uh, forecast. So it's uh, much more accurate than the others. And you can change the color of this line. I like to make it yellow. So I have decomposed data from there. And if you want to change it to time, that you can do too. Um, so this, this is how you can um, use a forecasting method to tell and uh, include all these variations into your forecasting.